Hi, Veronica. How are you today? Good, thank you. Good. So today I'm going to be doing a bit of a posture adjustment on you, all right? Um, so I'm going to be just looking at how you're sitting and standing, doing some small corrections, and small measurements, and hopefully getting you all aligned and getting posture perfectly stacked, your hips on top of your, your knees, your waist on top of your hips, your chest on top of your waist, and your shoulders on top of your chest, okay? Thank you. And this is called the Alexander Technique. The first thing I'm gonna do is just take a look and assess your current posture. Could you stand up naturally for me as you would? Okay, and just relax as much as you would. A little bit of overarching in the back here. Neck slightly forward, so we'll work on that. Hips slightly turned. All right, go ahead and have a seat for me. I'm gonna do some basic measurements. Make sure we're symmetrical on both sides here. Shoulder to shoulder. Finding the midline of your neck. Can you bend your neck down for me? Just finding that first spine bone. Symmetrical in the shoulders, you can lift your neck up. Just feeling for the center there. And just a little bit less symmetrical in the chest. So we'll take a look and see if that's posture, or just the way your body is. Just looking across the face, the neck. From the crown of your head, does that feel like the midline of your head right there? Mm -hmm. Down to your arms. And that is nice and even. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is just check your natural range of motion. Just go ahead and tip your head down as far as it can go comfortably and all the way back as far as it can go comfortably. And all the way to the side as it can. Good. And the other way. So you have very good range of motion. And can you dip forward as far as feels comfortable on your... That's good. And so lean back. Okay. And find the midline again. So let's go ahead and start these adjustments. I'm going to lower your head, lean you forward, and have you stand up, and then head back. Okay, just stop, relax there, and make some slight micro adjustments here. Shoulders back, and relax them down, feeling the slight difference. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have you tuck your head, bend your legs, sit down, moving back, and the head comes up, freeing the neck in the process. How did that feel? Good. Good? Okay, let's try it a couple more times. I want you to relax your arms, okay? Trying to not overarch the back there, mm -hmm. so nice and straight. Head goes down. Move forward, stand up, head goes back, and just a little bit in the chest here. There you go. Shoulders back, but chest forward a little bit more. Excellent. Go ahead and bend forward, drop that neck, bend the knees, sitting down, coming back. Very good. Very good. Let me just take a look at you here. And I'm just going to be tilting your head up and down here. Just relax and let me move it. And we just want to create openness in the chest, length in the neck. And have your eye line look straight ahead. And again, I'm just working with the movement, the natural movement of your body. So head down, 
Lean forward, stand up, arms back, head back. And can you turn that way without moving your hips? Very good. And turn this way without moving your hips. And we're just trying to see if we're retaining that posture there. Again, collapsing slightly in the chest, but keeping the shoulders back perfect. Tilt that head down, bend the knees, sit back, head comes up. Oh, lovely, lovely. Just coming around to this side. And again, just relax slightly. Have a very good posture naturally. I'm just going to work with your arms just a little. Nice and relaxed and just let them fall. And bring them up nice and relaxed and let it fall. And to the side. Good. I want you to put both arms up. Bend forward, head down, stand up, and arms back and fall to the side. All right, very good. I'm going to turn you. I'm going to turn you. And back to center. Slight, slightly down, just to give that neck the most length. Good. And same thing, I want you to put your arms slightly up, head down, tuck, bend the knees, and seat, and arms fall, and it comes back. All right, I'm gonna take a look at your legs. You and stay seated how you are. Lift the knee. And down, and the other side, lift, and down, this one, ankle up, and down, ankle up, and down, nice and relaxed, relax the hips, the knees, I'm going to have you stand up, and I'm going to assess the lower portion, so hips roll back, Core gets strong, spine lengthens, knees stay loose, take one step apart, slightly hips width apart, strong base, arms fall, nice and loose, head goes down, chest comes back, sit back in the seat, very good, shaking out the legs, hips width apart, one more time, arms to the side, head folds, chest comes back, lean forward and release. Good, good distance apart, nice and strong and sturdy. Hips. And same thing, tuck and fold, and lifting and lowering, up and down. How is that feeling in the hips and the knees? Good. Feels good. You feel a nice strong base there? Doesn't all right. Coming around. So hips are aligned, arms are loose. Do you feel that openness in the chest? Mm -hmm. Is it easier to a little easier to breathe? Mm -hmm. So go ahead and put it all together. So head goes down, chest leans forward. Arms relax, you rise, up, back, back. Very good, very good. And look to you that way, and twist the body, and look this way, and twist the body, and to the center, nice and level. Excellent, tuck the chin, drop the arms, seat back. Very good. Let's go ahead and assess that symmetry one last time. Again, I'm finding that center spine.
Very good, completely symmetrical there. Just checking the height of your shoulders as well. Perfect. Very good, complete symmetry there as well. Just checking from the midline of your face. Veronica, I think your posture is looking really good. Let's just do one last time on your own. Head tucks, forward, arms relax, up. Good, and tuck the head and the hips back. How is that feeling? Better. Good. All right, well, I want you to practice that at home, uh, and we can come back for another session and keep working on it if we need, but posture's looking much better and the neck is free and elongated and chest is open. That's what we look for with the Alexander Technique. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, Jeremy. Hi. Thank you for coming in today for your posture assessment. Yeah. So if you want to just go ahead, have a seat here. I'm just going to take a look at everything. I'm going to walk around. I'm just going to assess. Just sit how you would normally sit. Try not to self-correct just yet. I'm just going to make some adjustments here. Just go nice and loose. Just try and relax you. So what this process is, is just going to be slow, slight tweaks of the way that you sit and stand that will give me a sense of the best position for your posture and hopefully start to train your body to sit in that position. Okay. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Do you sit most of the day? Um, yeah, I do. Okay. And where are you sitting? Are you sitting at a desk or on a couch or a chair? Um, I would say 50-50. 50-50, desk and chair. Yeah. Uh, desk and couch, rather. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when you sit at that desk, what type of chair are you using? Is it something with give, like an ergonomic chair, or is it... Um, no, it's not. Okay. Just more of like a dining room chair or yeah. something. Yeah. Right. And with the couch, do you usually sit with your legs up or down? I'm up. Okay. Just gonna assess that. Just go loose. Okay. I'd like to see you walk a little, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. You can just stand up, walk towards that side of the room, normally, and walk back. And turn around and take a seat on this chair as you would naturally. I'm going to make some slight adjustments here and just let me make every movement. Let me move your neck up and down. Just finding the right placement. shoulders back a little. Can you stand up for me? And then sit down, try not to move that at all. Just sit down, just with your legs, yes. And then I'll guide you. Very good. Okay. 
You can stand up, try not to move anything that I've adjusted, just with the pressure relax. Very good. Very good. Okay. Can you take a seat back down? Chairs right behind you. Yes, exactly. Perfect. How did that feel? Not um, that felt okay. That's okay. Any in uncomfortable spots? Um, not particularly. Okay. Okay. Try one more time. Stand up tall. I'm going to move this chair out of the way for just a moment. I'm going to come around. Take a step back for me, please. to make these movements. All right, could you walk there back for me, please? Turn around for me. And you're just slightly, slightly to the left here. Okay, try one more time. There and back for me. You can let your arm swing naturally, however it feels comfortable. Turn around for me, please. I'm going to replace the chair. Go ahead and turn around. Look where it is. Slowly make your way down, keeping that posture. Yes. Very good. All right, I'm going to move around to your legs. All right, I'm just going to square off your hips. Does that feel comfortable? Yeah. Ship that out just a little. Okay. Go ahead and stand up towards me. Trying to keep that alignment. And sit back down. Stand up for me again. How did that feel? Oh, it's okay. okay. Anything that was bothering you? Um, no. Go ahead and walk for me. And turn around and come back. Turn around, stand in front of the stool. Adjust your hips just a little bit. Okay, walk for me. There, back. We're getting close. Just turn around one more time. Okay, last time. Just walk there and back for me. Okay, 
ahead and turn around and have a seat. I'm trying to keep that alignment it's before you sit down. Okay, sit down. Slightly bend forward as if you were to stand up, but don't stand up. You can do that on your own. Bend forward slightly. And now stand up. Very good. And go ahead and sit back down. Very good. So this is this technique takes several sessions. It's all about training our muscles, training our posture, training our mind. And it will help with a lot of things if you have stiffness on the computer from sitting at a desk all day. And just about these tiny micro movements. Can you look this way for me and the other way? and back to straight. And we'll just work on keeping our neck centered, aligned over our shoulders. Can you move your waist up, twist your waist? And back to center. And next time you do that, try and keep your head right in the middle, just twist at your waist. Good. And the other way. The last time, bend your head down as if you're going about to stand up. Keep your head straight, stand up. Okay. Walk to the end of the room. Stop there, turn around, and come back. Stand up nice and tall. And turn around. Very good. Go ahead and take a seat. Good. All right, you're back and your neck's looking good. I just want to look again at your feet because your gait is still a little bit wobbly. We want to make sure it's nice and strong. Okay, go ahead and square those out for me again. Can you kick out your heels as if you... Yes, exactly. Relax for me. Perfect. down into the floor with this side. Okay, relax. Pick this one up. into the floor. 
stabilize your foot. position so I'm going to just adjust you one last time put you back into the places that we found were the most aligned and when you come forward try one more time tilt your head down turn down come forward and stand up good walk for me that way turn around and walk back Good, rotate. And sit down for space. Exactly, very good. Okay. I think for our first session, this is looking really good. I would anticipate you needing at least two more sessions to really solidify the practice, solidify the new posture. This is something you can also work on when you're just sitting at a computer. How does this position feel? That feels good. All right. All right, yes, yeah, so I'd like to see you back for at least two more sessions, okay? Sounds good. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Jeremy. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for coming in for your second posture adjustment uh, session. And today we're going to be focusing on putting you in an office chair because you mentioned that you were having some issues with your posture while you were working, correct? Mm, yeah. Okay, and would you say you sit in a chair similar to this? Yeah, it is very similar. Okay, and how many hours a day are you sitting in this chair? Um, a lot, um, probably around six to eight hours. Six to eight hours, okay. And how often do you get up out of the chair and just? Um, I try to get up every once in a while, but sometimes I'll be sitting for pretty long periods. Okay, perfect. So we're just going to take a look at what your posture is currently like in the chair. And then we'll work on some minor adjustments to try and improve your posture, improve your overall spine health. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is just have you sit as you normally would. So stand up for me naturally. So sort of relax yourself and then sit down as you, as you normally would. Okay, and just settle where you're comfortable. And stay right there. Just going to be measuring. See if they're even or uneven. And it looks like you're listing a little bit. The right shoulder is sitting higher than the left shoulder. And just look at you across the chest here. confirming that and having your as your head and neck natural where it would be when you're looking at the screen um probably yeah maybe I'd probably be a little more leaned forward okay all right so go ahead and go where you normally be I want to get a sense of where you're currently at so we're seeing a big dip there I'm just going to get below your chin here to see again just where your head naturally would lie okay so it looks like we have a lot of unevenness in the shoulders and we want to correct some of that posture so that your head is over your neck your neck is over your shoulders your shoulders over your spine your spines over your hips and we want to maintain that movement as we stand up as we sit down even if we're in a chair for long periods of time so first thing I'm going to do is just loosen up your body, setting it down. All right, I'm just going to start by making some tiny adjustments to the neck. Do you mind if I just move your hair to the side yeah, so I no can problem. see your neck? 
actually. Okay, right there? Yeah. Okay. And just finding the center line here. Again, just moving your neck and your back. And as you bend forward, I'm going to have you hinge at the hips. And don't move your head or your back. Hinge at your hips. Very good. And now go back. And making sure the head stays level. Again, just broadening out the chest here. Slight pinch in the back so that your chest is forward and your shoulders are back. And again, I'm going to move you down and forward. And don't just hinge at the hips. Hinge at the hips. Perfect. And go back. Very good. All right, this time I'm going to hinge you at the hips, and then you're going to just stand straight up. Very good. And adjust your shoulders back. Perfect. Excellent. And stand there for a minute for me. Can you push your shoulders back against my hand and relax? Perfect. And now when you come down, again, you're going to first hinge forward at the hips and then go ahead and sit down and I've got you and just find the chair and back like that. Perfect. How did that feel? Oh, good. Okay. Okay. So you're sitting up a little straighter already. Okay, one more time. Go ahead and hinge the hips, tuck the chin, and make your way up. Very good. And come back and directly over the shoulders here. All right, stay right there. I'm just going to take, while you're standing, some of the measurements. I'm just going to take, while you're standing, Another look at that levelness of your shoulders. Now that we've made some minor adjustments. That looks good. And around the front. Just a little bit there. ahead and slightly drop the shoulder back with the neck really open up really free the neck good all right same thing tuck your head bend at your waist and come down towards the chair excellent it's looking great and while we're sitting let's go ahead and take some of those measurements of your head Much straighter. Just let your shoulder loose. All right, I'm gonna have you try standing up one more time, unaided. So go ahead and curl your neck, should drop your neck to your chin, bend at your hips, and stand up. Very good, very nice. Nice broad shoulders. How's that feel? Looks 
Good. And we'll take a little bit more look at your neck. So just drop your chin, bend at the waist, and come down. Good. And at the computer, are you always looking in one direction, or do you have multiple screens? I have multiple screens. Okay, on the right, the left, or both? I have both. Okay, so go ahead and look to the left for me, and come back to center. And look to the right for me, and come back to center. Very good. And now I'm going to move you to the left and to the right, okay? And just let me make the movements. And come back. You see how I'm moving you just with the muscles in the neck and back? I'm going to put a little bit more of your body into it, so move a little bit with your body and come back. Does your chair right, rotate at home? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and use that chair, make that rotation. See how that means just keep your posture nice and tall? Mm -hmm. And come back to center. Good. Look to the right and do that on your own. And come back to center. Perfect. One more time to the left. And come back to center. Good. How does that feel? Feels good. good. I'm going to move down to your legs. Just do a little bit of adjustments there, okay? Okay. All right. So, let's start with your knee here. I'm just going to move it to feel how it moves. Okay, the other one. All right, and do go ahead and stand up for me. I'm just going to see how. Good. And just take, make your hips a little bit. Uh, go ahead and move your feet to match your hips. So just open a little bit wider, and then just turn the feet in just a little bit. There you go. Does that feel comfortable? Um, it feels a little unsteady. Okay. Go ahead and adjust your feet to the way it would feel comfortable to you, and I'm, I'm going to adjust your hips to match. Alright. So when you bend forward to come down, try and keep your hips perfect. And I'll just bring my head up. And remember to drop your shoulders back and your chest forward. All right, let's put it all together. So, chin drops, bend forward, hinge at the hips, come back. Very good. Let's see how much length that gives you in the neck, opening in the chest. And again, Tuck, hinge at the hips, sit down, head straight. Perfect. All right. Let's do some final measurements. See if we've made an impact. This is going to take practice, so you're going to have to do these at home mm -hmm. while you're actually in your desk chair. But you now know what it's supposed to feel like, right? Mm -hmm. Perfectly even there. Very good. Checking across the chest, finding the shoulder points here. Very good. The head here. Good. Perfect. Shrug your shoulders for me nice and high, and then drop them down all the way. Very good. All right, one last time. Head forward. Stand up. Arms back, nice and loose. And the chair's right behind you. The neck comes forward. 
then the hips, then the legs, and come back up. How's that feeling? Feels great. All right, Jeremy. Well, thank you for coming in for your second session. I hope that this feels better with your back at home. Uh, but let us know and we can make some tiny adjustments and you can even bring your chair in next time And we can make specific adjustments for that particular seat if you need. That sounds great. Thank you so much. Thank you Hi, Debbie. Hi. My name is Hannah. I'm gonna be doing an Alexander posture adjustment on you today It's gonna involve me looking at how your body is naturally laying I'm doing a little bit of a testing of the muscles and the motions and then we'll go ahead and practice that technique uh, getting up and sitting down to try and maintain the true Alexander posture, okay? Okay. Do you have any questions before we begin? No. Excellent. So I'm just going to start taking a look at everything here. Just uncross your legs. Perfect. I'm just going to unfold this really for a moment. Taking a look at the neck, seeing where it falls, where your head is stacked. Just let me move your head, relax. And then come back to a normal, natural place. And do that one more time. Normal, natural place. Can you tilt your head down and then come back to a natural place? Okay. And tilt your head to the side and then come back to a natural place side and back and then back to the midline good now I'm just going to move it for you a little just checking for that symmetry seeing if we're stacking all of our joints on top of each other okay very good Seeing a little bit of drifting forward here. I'm going to move your shoulders a little. Backwards and forwards, rounding up and back. And then fall into what feels like a natural position. A little bit of rounding forward on the shoulders here. We'll have to work on that. And lay your arms by your side. And lean back all the way here. Just relax into the chair. Arms up and down. And again, I'm just seeing the range of motion and where everything naturally falls. Okay. And then back down, back to your sides, exactly. I'm going to take some measurements. And getting the symmetry from side to side so that way if we are doing any compensating we're considerate of the fact that our bodies are not symmetrical. The tip of the head. Good. Seeing where the chin to the ear versus the ear to the back of the head. On the other side. Seeing a slight gradient to this right side. So we'll see if that's posture, if that's just your body. Measuring along the back here. Along the front as well. And you're more broad in the back than the front, which is typical. Um, but we'll consider that when we're doing the motions. And now I'm just going to do some symmetry using my tool here. So again, just relax. I'm just going to be taking a couple of mental measurements for myself. And I'm going to gently be placing these metal right on your face, okay. um, but I won't get anywhere near your eyes, so just keep your eyes closed.
Just checking the neck here. Just basically seeing how it expands and contracts and if it does so evenly as I go down. Same thing on the shoulders. I'm going to start doing a little bit of technique now. Bend forward just to about there. Yep, as if you were going to about to stand up. And I'm just going to take that angle. Okay. And same thing as if you were about to stand up and just right there. Okay, so we're leaning a little bit towards that left side. So let's start with a little bit of technique now. Okay. So I want you to bend at the waist. Uh, move your hands loose, stand up, and come back. And just got a little bit of a rounding of the shoulders. Try to keep the shoulder blades down, but back. And then looking here's in a little here so that you're stacking your spine. Your shoulders over the waist, waist over the hips, hips over the knees. Good. When you go down, I want you to drop your head, tuck your chin, tuck your stomach, and then sit back. Perfect. Okay. Very good. So that's the basis of what we're doing today. And we're just going to repeat that several times until the motion feels very natural and smooth to you. So drop your head, lean forward, stand up, head comes back into a structured spine. And just stay here for me, making slight adjustments. Okay, head tucks forward. Sit back, down, and up again. And go ahead and scoot all the way back. And just relax back. And I want you to feel the difference between a relaxed state mm -hmm. and that posture that we're structuring. Okay? So go ahead and sit up straight. Head goes down. Lean forward and stand up. Arms to the side. I'm just going to look at your arms now and just moving the chest a little bit in here. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So working a little bit with the arms here. And I want the shoulders to come forward just a little, but still be down and back. Perfect. Go ahead and tuck your head and sit back down. So head, head does first, and then up. Let's try that one more time. Go ahead and bend forward, come up. Head goes first, then the back, and then up. Okay, good. Again, side to side, and let your head fall naturally better. So I'm seeing it stack better along the midline. Go ahead, duck that head. Try and do it on your own. Bend forward and stand up and come back. And just tuck the chin a little bit, a little bit here, just perfect. And that's where I want you to end up, right here, okay? okay. So try one more time. Tuck the head, sit back. Perfect. Perfect spot right there. Just reassessing the shoulders here. Are you starting to feel the posture take shape a little? Yes. Perfect. I'm going to look at the legs just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to move down here. Okay, so let me just adjust your feet here. Kick out and pull in and relax it. And this side, kick out and pull in and relax it. And I want you to do the same thing. Tuck your head. Lean forward and stand up, and I'm going to watch your legs. Good. I want you to spread uh, so you're about hips width apart with your feet and set up together. Uh, maybe a little less for you. Yes, that's better. Okay. And just checking that everything's stacking properly. Now take a micro step forward with this leg only. Good. And do the same thing. Tuck your head, sit back, and sit down. Good. 
And I'm just going to watch the full thing from up here. So tuck your head, move forward, come up, chin up. How did that feel? Great. Good. All right, now I'm going to put some pressure on you where we're going to change your body a little bit, and then mm -hmm. I want you to come back to that base posture. So turn, twist your body to the side. Now twist back to the front, and I want you to tuck your head and get back into the posture. So tuck your head and sit back down. See if you can keep the posture. Good. Let's try it again. Stand back up. Tuck the head. Come up. I want you to turn the other way. I want you to just sort of relax, get loose, and then turn back towards the front and try and maintain that posture one more time. So let's tuck the head and sit back down. And the head comes up. It's looking a lot better, Debbie. You're making fast progress here. It's very good. How does that feel in the spine? Feels okay? Okay. And again, relax your arms. Close your eyes for a second. And can you do it with your eyes closed? Tuck your head. Lean forward. Stand up. Very good. You can open your eyes. I'm just going to make, again, some micro-adjustments here. It is a practice. It doesn't come in one day. So it does mean that you'll have to keep coming back to this this posture and this position, it may not always feel natural, and you'll have to work on it. Tuck the head, lean forward, and sit back down. Very good. All right, scoop back and relax. So we're just going to do some more measuring now. So same thing we did before, but I just want to check where your head now falls, uh, your neck and midline. So tilt your head down and find the midline again. Come back up. Okay, I'm just gonna take measurements to see where you are. So we're still drifting just a little bit to that right side. Let's try there. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. So that's now giving me even. Right in the middle there. And checking the front to the back and the crown of the head. Coming down the front of the face. And we're just tilting still. The chin should just be a touch higher. Perfect. Okay, tuck your head and stand up. And I'm going to measure you while you're standing now. Very good. Perfectly midline. Go ahead and tuck that head. Bend back. Sit down. Relaxed arms by your side. Good. And lean back. Okay, just rechecking that symmetry one last time in the neck. Hey Debbie, I want you to do three more times up and back. Uh, the first one I'm going to help you, the second one a little less hands-on, and the third one I'll have you do on your own, and we'll see how we're going from there. Okay. Okay, so head tucks, stand up, shoulders back, head up, great. This one a little less hands-on, tuck your chin, sit back, sit down, very good, and then one last time on your own. And sit back. How are you feeling with your posture? Feels really good. It looks really good. Um, so we've made a lot of progress today, Debbie. Um, I think you should be doing the technique, practicing the technique daily for about 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the evening, and just constantly reassessing where your posture is, how you're feeling, 
where things are falling, mm -hmm. um, making sure we're stacking that spine from the top of the crown to the sacrum here. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you for coming in and practicing the technique with me, and thank I'll you see so you much. for another session sometime. Great. Hi, Jeremy. Hi. I'm Hannah. I'm going to be performing your posture and spine assessment today. Uh, what that involves is me uh, checking the curvature of your spine, checking the movement of it, and then doing a bit of posture adjustment to find that exact right line from your head uh, to your hips, to your feet, see if there's any discrepancies in uh, symmetry or weight imbalances. Um, and that way we can get your back feeling great and really refine that posture uh, for your everyday uh, life, okay? That sounds great. Perfect. Uh, this type of treatment is really great if you do a lot of sitting because it will help reset your posture and just open up your whole body improve a lot of the health and the flow of the uh, the nerves and the veins, okay? Great. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna have you do is put on the gown, opening to the back, and we're gonna do a basic inspection of the spine. All right, so now that you have the back exposed, I'm gonna do a visual inspection. And I'm looking for any bulging, any bruising or inconsistencies, any visual curvature that I can see just with my light. And I don't see any feeling the temperature too. And it's pretty consistent with both the front and back of my hands. And visually, no problems, just checking the other muscles and bones here. Feel a little bit of initial uh, tightness of the scapula muscles and the scapula itself. So that could be contributing to some of this uh, posture that we're seeing here, a little bit of a forward leaning posture. Okay. I'm just gonna press on your back. Is there any pain anywhere? No, there isn't. Okay, and down here? No. Okay. I'm gonna just bang a little bit harder. Any pain? No. And just a little bit harder still. That felt okay? Yeah. Good. I'm gonna do Same thing, but I'm gonna go down twice. Once, I'm gonna just knock right on the bone very gently with my hammer. And the second time, I'm gonna go in between, right where those nerves live. And again, if anything shoots up and down the spine, any pain, let me know. Okay. And could you just tilt your head forward slightly? Perfect, just so I can get to that top vertebrae. No pain on the bones? No. All right, and I'm gonna go back up in, in between those bones. And let me know, especially if you have any nerve pain or tingling sensations. There's just a little bit of swelling in between some of these, and that could just be caused by inflammation from that posture. So we'll do those adjustments. Any shooting pains going down? No. Okay, excellent. The last thing I'm gonna do as far as checking the spine itself is just a little bit of a sharp point here, and I just want you to tell me if you can feel it 
all the way down and up to make sure there's no sensation loss because sensation loss can sometimes cause issues with the posture if we're not able to truly feel uh, where our back is aligned, okay? Mm -hmm. So first I'm just gonna run this down in one line. Did you feel that all the way down? I did. Okay, and now I'm going to do it just a little softer. Did you feel that all the way down? Mm -hmm. And now I'm just gonna do points in each spot. And let me know if any of them feel less sharp than the previous. Same sharpness all the way down yeah. so far. Mm -hmm. Any change? No, it felt the same. Wonderful. I want to just map your spine and we'll see if there's any curvatures. All right, so I'm going to make a couple of points here in each level of your spine. Seeing just a slight curvature here. We'll go ahead and measure that. So we've got I would say that's only about a degree. So pretty pretty straight. It's not considered a curvature in the spine at that point. We have a slight curve down this way too. So it's a bit of an S shape, that's not unusual. That seems pretty straight all the way down. All right, so. This is about half a degree. And A nearly full degree here, down here as well. So we've got the spine going a uh, degree outwards to your right, centering off a degree to the left, or half a degree, and then again sort of curving back down. So I think that's a matter of simple muscle training to be able to pull that spi spine straight. Uh, there's no signs of severe scoliosis or anything that would uh, prevent you from just using uh, posture techniques to improve that. Lastly, I'm just going to be measuring down the spine. we are seeing just some slightly larger gaps here in the top, between the top vertebrae, and that's possibly because when you are pulling over, that spine is extending, and then I expect it to be a little more compressed down here in the lower back. Yep, and we are seeing that compression in the lower. I'm just going to check those degree variants one more time, just to be sure. I think the stop one actually might be a little more than one degree. little less there. 
That's perfectly straight. Okay. All right, Jeremy, I'll have you turn around, uh, put your shirt back on, and we're gonna work on the posture uh, using a little bit of technique, okay? Okay. So, Jeremy, now that we've determined that there's nothing medically to be concerned about with the posture, I'm gonna be taking a look and just seeing where you're at. So go ahead and just stare right there. I'm seeing the shoulders curve forward. The head sticks out a little and comes back a little versus sitting in the middle. Looking side to side, drifting just a little to the left. The arms are also forward a little and a little forward towards the front of the body as they go down. So we'll work on those couple of things. I'm gonna put on a leveler. I want you to look that way so it doesn't hit your eyes, um, but I just wanna get a baseline of what's going to be flat. So you can see this shoulder on this side, just raised up just a little. So just shrug your shoulders up all the way to your ears as far as you can go and release completely. Good. Gonna make some slight adjustments and relax and pull back and relax. I'm gonna do one shoulder coming back and relax. Here. Okay. Now I'm going to pull you back and I want to try you to try to hold it just a little. And now try and touch my finger with your head. Perfect. Okay. Now relax. And I'm just getting you used to what the posture should feel like. Uh, it is a muscular thing to build, so you're not going to be able to walk out of here today with perfect posture. That is just not going to happen, but we'll get you on your way. So arms forward and then come back down and drop them back behind you, but relax them. Okay. I'm going to push the chest in and coming down slightly on this side and relax fully forward. I want you to tuck your head for me, feeling that pull all the way down and I want you to come all the way back and tip backwards. And can, when you tip backwards, can you push your chest forward unnaturally? You see how that raises your spine up? Okay, now come back down and normal. Do a little work on the head here. Let me move it for you. And we'll find the midline. So tip your head down again. And then can you come back to that midline we just found? Good. Good, and the chin's raised a little too much. Just drop it just a touch. There we go. And can you turn all the way that way? And then come back to that midline. And good. And this way, please. And go back and try and do that without moving your body. Good, and go back. Excellent. So what we want to try and do is keep the spine very stable over time, and even when we're moving our head and our neck, uh, we're not taking our spine with us everywhere we go. But for now, I'm going to have you do the opposite of what I just asked you to, and turn your body that way first. Good. And the other way, just for me to take a look. All right. And can you try doing that without moving your head, so keeping your head forward? I just want to see. Okay, you shouldn't be able to keep it perfect just like that. You can try that one more time on the other side, just moving your chest only, and come back to center. Good. And are you finding any pains or irritations while you're doing this? No. Okay. I'm going to apply some pressure to your shoulders, but I want you to fight against me. Keep that spine straight. Very good. 
All right, I'm gonna have you stand up, Jeremy. So come forward, standing up. I'm gonna have you just uh, step on this scale with this foot. And I'm just gonna see how heavy you're weighing on one side versus the other. So just go ahead and put your natural weight on that. Just a couple, okay. And then the other side. And just put your weight on that with your left, your right foot, left foot. Perfect. Okay, a couple kilograms more on the right side. So that's telling me you're shifting your weight a little bit more to your right. The laser level's at hip length now, so let's just see if that hip's matching. I want you to put all your weight on the left side, Jeremy, and then all your weight on your right side, and then try and find the midline. And then I want you to tuck your head and sort of bend down, keeping that weight even, distribute, and chairs right behind you, and I've got you. Perfect. So do the same thing we did before, which is to push your head slightly back, pushing your, your chest forward, kind of exaggerate that openness, and now settle your head back down and relax just a little. There we go. So that's looking a lot better now. That shoulders are sticking back a little. So I want you to practice that, keeping your shoulders back, and just sort of shake it out, go loose. And then I want you to find that same position. So we'll start by over-exaggerating the opening of the chest, pushing the head up, and then finding the midline in the head and relaxing the shoulders just a bit. And I can see now that that level is much more even. How does that feel, this position right here? Feels okay. Okay. Is that something you think you can work on at home? Yeah, definitely. All right, so the last thing I wanna do is just take a look at your arms, so shake them out. And I'm just gonna play with them here. And how does it feel to have it backwards like that a little? It feels okay. Feels okay? Is it more natural to go forwards? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and swing it a couple times and then try and find the midline. And just relax. Good. And that's a nice straight line all the way down here. And all the way down there as well. So I want you to put the whole thing together. And just sort of bend forward and open up and find those positions with both the arms and the neck and the back. Very good, that looks great, Jeremy. So I think that's a good place to end today. Uh, I want you to keep practicing these at home and then when we come back, we can start doing some more micro adjustments, things that are a little less uh, of the bigger picture and more of these tiny adjustments that are gonna make a big difference, okay? Cool, that sounds great. Well, thank you so much for coming in and uh, we'll see you soon.